ultrasound calls that will be useful to both the doctors and the midwife. And we hope that this course will be useful not only to Rwanda, but also <coughs> to other countries around. One of the trainers that's coming tonight is a top sonographer in the UK. So he will explain to you the function of the ultrasound machine um, and the basic ultrasound. Okay? But then you will have also two obstetricians coming, official trainers in the UK, who will explain how to detect malformation, how, how to measure the baby. Um, I will show to you my area of expertise, which is the placental pathology and the early pregnancy complication. My next uh, talk is going to be about dating scan. What you see on a dating scan, what you should be looking out for a dating scan. And what I'm going to talk about is just the normality. My colleagues here are going to speak about their abnormal findings. Our next lecture is going to be on the ultrasound in the diagnosis and management of early pregnancy complications. So it follows Raj's lecture and it will show you a little bit of the pathology. Then after this we will have a lecture by Nuria on the normal growth development of the fetus. And then this afternoon it will be more the pathology starting with the placenta and finishing with the fetus in detail. My name is Nerea and I'm coming from the Fetal Medicine Foundation from London. And I'm going to talk about the, the fetal growth. The first thing when we talk about fetal growth, the first thing we need to know is the dating of the, of the pregnancy. That's very important. So Raj talked about this. And usually we take the last menstrual period. My name is Nicola. Uh, I work for the Fetal Medicine Foundation in London. Uh, thank you for staying until now. It has been a long day of teaching and taking in a lot of information. So I won't, I won't keep you much longer. I just want you to take, to take you through a series of cases of abnormalities. And what I would like from you is to start to get used to observe what you see rather than going to diagnosis and uh, complicated cases. Je, je suis très contente de cette formation et je te bien merci. So I'm going to do the scan because the young lady who was in the room doing the scan before I arrived has been called to see a patient on the labor ward. So she's going to come back in, in five minutes, but she's asked me to start the scan because they're very much behind there. About 40 patients waiting outside. And so at least on the way, the baby. Okay, so it's a singleton pregnancy. The head of the baby is in the right position down in the pelvis. She seems to be quite advanced. I mean, I certainly agree with her. So the maternal instinct was that she was nearly about giving birth, and indeed, indeed she is not far from uh, the end of her pregnancy. So. Yeah. So remember transverse, I said this little dot should be facing you, you yeah. okay? So you go back and don't move the transducer, just angle it. So that's her cervix there, that's her bladder. Mm -hmm. So in transverse, that's anterior, posterior, patient's left, patient's right. So if you see something uh, over here, that's your left ovary. If you see over here, that's your right ovary, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we slowly angle up. We start to see the uterus. We start to see that fibroid there. You see, start to see the gestation sac. And just keep coming all the way out, okay? So this way, you can... Placenta is anterior. Okay, so now I'm going straight, cephalic, going up. Make sure that the heart is beating. Yes. See yes, that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you want it to heartbeat, this is your M mode. You pray, place your cursor on the M mode, right there. And you put your cursors 
and then you'll get your fetal heart rate as well. Yep. Okay. Now we need one more. Now, when you remember always to 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 see how the baby is lying. Mm -hmm. The bladder is where there. Mm -hmm. So the legs will be here, right? So from here, just rotate. Uh, yeah. yeah, and you get the fin. Okay, my name is Roslyn from Akongoso. I'm the head of midwifery department at the Kigali Health Institute, which is one of the universities here in the Kigali city. It is a, an extremely important course, and I'm glad that they included the nurses as well, because before it was only for medics, for, for the doctors. But I'm so happy they've included the nurses, because before, we used to see the scans, we take them, the ultrasound scans, we, 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 we receive them from the doctors, but we just see them as pictures, they didn't make any sense. But after this course, we'll be more keen now, we'll be more keen in looking and be, being able to interpret the results even without reading them. So it is a very important course and it'll help us go a long way in helping the women, especially the women of reproduct reproductive age right here in Rwanda. Yeah. This, this course will also help us uh, you know, in the midwifery field, because right now we have very few midwives in Rwanda. They take midwifery as a very low cadre because before women, most of the women in the village are delivered by traditional birth attendants. So they equate midwifery to the midwives, the, 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 the traditional birth attendants. But now after doing this, they'll be able to see that midwifery is a profession and a recognized one and one to be proud of. So I think it will go a long way even in assisting us in establishing the midwifery department and in establishing the midwifery in a broader perspective, not only in the delivery bit, but also being able to interpret results and being able to take care of the woman more holistically. Now, yeah. yes. You're welcome to once again for this nice closing ceremony for the training that you've been here that you've been attending for the last three days. I would like to tell you that we have been really honored to have all this team being here and using their free time, not asking money, not asking anything, and just be here to help us. Thank you very much for having come. But